Hey guys, it's Vin from The Bear Gentleman, and today we are doing an unboxing of this giant magical box from Microsoft. And this really is a huge box, and like it's very surprising that this is a, an actual product from Microsoft.com. And yes, you can see that this is just a box filled with a bunch of air packets and a very, very tiny box. So, definitely overkill. And these are the Microsoft Surface earbuds. I have them in the white color. I think that's the only color available, actually. And here we have our earbuds. And we have a tiny little instruction booklet to help you get started. We have our USB-C to USB-A charging cable. And we have our adjustable ear tips. At the end we have some more literature. All right, so here we have everything laid out. From left to right, we have your charging cable, you get your earbuds, you get your adjustable ear tips, and you have your literature. And to get started, I'm going to go ahead and scan the QR code and it takes you to the Surface Audio app on the Google Play Store. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at our earbuds and wow, um, definitely way different than the other earbuds I've seen. And so interesting, so this is not a magnetic hinge, it's a soft touch hinge. Alright guys, and I just wanted to show you real quick how they stack up next to the Galaxy Buds Plus. Uh, you can see it's a very similar size, um, just a little bit more squared off. And real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the Buds themselves. And you can see that it's actually not too much bigger than the Galaxy Buds Plus. Um, and even though they look like they uh, go in deeper, they actually do not. The Buds Plus actually protrude a little bit more out of your ear. And when you are setting this up, you'll see that they pop up similarly to how Galaxy Buds do. Just go ahead and tap to pair and you have this app that will go ahead and allow you to adjust all the settings and whatnot in it. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and let these update and I'm going to try them out for a little bit and I'll throw up some specs for you guys to take a look at and we'll see how these guys do. Hey guys, it's Ben the Better Gentleman, and right now we are doing a microphone test of the Surface earbuds. So these are the ones I have in my ear right now. Um, so supposedly, like, the main selling point of these buds is that they are really, really good when it comes to their mic quality. And that's really something that, like, uh, Microsoft has been, like, pointing out in, like, their promotional stuff that it's good for office work and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and see how these guys did. All right, this is what it sounds like without the Surface earbuds on. So this is the regular mic out of the Note 20 Ultra. All right, guys, so this is the microphone on the Galaxy Buds Plus. And uh, the reason I'm showing this to you is because, well, the Surface earbuds do have a good amount of features on them. I just feel like the Galaxy Buds Plus have way more. And they're more compatible, especially because I think most people are looking for earbuds that will play well with their phones and all their other devices and whatnot. The uh, Surface Buds over here, they're mainly meant to connect to your PC. And uh, they do have more features than any other earbuds do whenever it comes to like Windows devices and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like most people, whenever it comes to earbuds, they want to go ahead and be able to connect to their phone. So let's go ahead and see how these guys did. 
Alrighty guys, so I've gone ahead and played with these for quite a while now, so about a month. Last segment I actually recorded with the Note 10 Plus. This one I'm recording with the brand new Note 20 Ultra. And I found this would be like a good way to like test out like all the different features and whatnot of this phone. And I'll have a review of that coming out soon, so uh, subscribe for that. And so the reason why I waited so long to go ahead and uh, post this review, it's uh, in part because of how everything is right now. And uh, additionally, I just wanted to see like if there was going to be an update to these, if Microsoft was going to change some things. Uh, because they've been kind of slow about uh, this product in particular. And also, I wanted to see if the price was going to drop. Uh, that has not happened. Uh, these are still 190 as of right now. And lastly, I wanted to make sure I was able to give a full picture of these. And I'm not going to lie, I did enjoy these quite a lot. Uh, but there are quite a few drawbacks as well that I'll get into in just a second. And real quick guys, so I typically go ahead and stitch up the unboxing and the review in one long video. But I wanted to see if you guys would prefer it if I would go ahead and do a quick unboxing video and a review video in two separate videos. So let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. Anyway, so back to the review. And in my opinion, uh, these are pretty great. But at $190, they are missing quite a bit of features. And I think mainly the thing with these is that they're targeted towards a niche audience um, and these would typically be used for work. But on the other hand, like I said, they're really great for the office environment. They work really well with PCs. Uh, they're great for phone calls and stuff like that. Uh, so just to keep that in mind. There's nothing quite out there that handles PC interactions uh, as these do over here. There's a lot of features in there. And typically what happens with earbuds is that they're more geared towards your mobile device and then uh, they are compatible with your PC. But this one has an app for, well, you know, as you would expect for Microsoft. And uh, you are able to go ahead and control some of the equalizer settings and whatnot through that, which you are not able to do with uh, something like the Galaxy Buds Plus because um, they just go ahead and they use your old settings from your phone to your PC. And if you want to change those up, you have to go back to your phone and you have to adjust the settings. In addition, these are really good for the Microsoft Office products. Um, and that's, again, that's really what these are targeted towards. Uh, you can go ahead and you can control PowerPoint presentations and stuff like that. You can narrate PowerPoint presentations. Again, just a very office oriented product. But I really think the question becomes, do you even need these features? Because I feel like most people do not. I don't really know anybody who's there itching to use Microsoft PowerPoint that much. All right, and you guys heard the mic test, which was a really big selling point of these. And while I do think that these are better, like no doubt they are better, are they really that much better that you would go ahead and give up features that you have available on the Galaxy Buds Plus and whatnot? I mean, again, and these are in no way like a straight competitor for these. I feel like these are on the opposite end. These are tailored towards Microsoft products, whereas the Galaxy Buds are tailored towards, you know, Samsung products. And one thing I wanted to point out is that these are actually very, very comfortable. I haven't really tried anything like this comfortable on the Android side before. Um, yes, the form factor is kind of weird and whatnot, but um, they really are very comfortable, way more comfortable than the Galaxy Buds and uh, most of the in-ear type earbuds. All right, so let's go ahead and break down our pros and cons. Uh, for the pros, these are very comfortable. They have a fantastic microphone. Um, they're really the only earbuds that play well with PCs. The sound quality is great. They have great touch controls, but just keep in mind they're not customizable and they also have easy pair so again if these are the things you're looking for then this is really the only product that's out there for you all right and so for the cons uh this is clearly a gen 1 product uh, for example there is no magnets at the top so these fall out very easily so things like that that's something they can definitely work on for the second generation of these um in addition there is no type of noise isolation because they are like kind of an open ear design and the worst part is there's also no active noise cancellation. So again, you're just letting in all of that noise from your surroundings, which if you need to be aware of your surroundings, I mean, good. But I feel like most people kind of put on earbuds to kind of isolate themselves. And there is no wireless charging. They instead opted to give you a quick pair button, um, which does work really well. But again, 
I've had no issues quick pairing with the Galaxy Buds or anything like that. Um, but it's there if you need it. And another thing I want to point out is that this case scratches way too easily. Like, I don't know if I, it's showing up on camera or not. So if you do get these, make sure you get like a case or like a skin or something on it. And also for a con, uh, like I said, I mean, it's good that they have an app for the PC, but overall the app that they have on both Android and PC is very lackluster. It's missing like a lot of features. Uh, you can't customize any of the buttons or any way that the uh, touch controls work. And basically you're just controlling your equalizer from there. Also, the design um, is something, I don't know, I, I wouldn't really consider it as a con, uh, but it definitely would kind of like push most people away just because it's so bold. But I think that goes ahead and sums up most of uh, the pros and cons of these. And real quick, before we go into the final grade, I'd like to ask that if you did find this video helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content. I don't do any sponsored reviews or anything like that, and reviewing tech is a very expensive hobby so your support would be massively appreciated. All right, now that my self-promotion's out of the way, uh, the final grade I'd give these is a B minus. And I know that might seem a bit too generous considering like their price point of $190 and the lack of features. For comparison, like the Galaxy Buds Plus right now, they're about $98. And I think those are a way better buy than these at $190. And again, considering everything I said, a B minus seems way too generous. But the thing is, this is a Surface product, and I really feel like their target audience are is people that already have Surface devices and they're really into the Microsoft ecosystem. Which I mean, I know it, it's not that big of an audience, but again, like I said, it works really, really well. It's a good companion if you do have a Surface device. All right, and despite having enjoyed the features and whatnot, I just don't use them enough to really justify the price point. So I'm going to end up actually returning these. For most people, I think something like the Galaxy Buds Plus would be more suited towards you, especially if you're on the Android side and whatnot. You don't really get any additional benefit of having this over something like the Galaxy Buds or any JBL product. And while personally I might be returning these, I will be waiting to see what Microsoft has for Generation 2. Like I said, I did like these quite a bit, just they don't check all the boxes for me. If these do look like something that check all the boxes for you, I'll leave a link for you to check them out down below. And that's it for today guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content like this. And if you guys got questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time.